It's negative, so it's to the left is 0, right? Is that um, past negative 1? How do you know? It's 0 0.34. That's about a third, right? So this is where Mr. Judge would live. on the standard scale. Notice, where does he live? If this were grades, if this were grades, what do you guys notice about that range? He's sort of in the what? In the C range, what does that mean? He's about average in height. OK, you guys OK with that? Even though his height of 67 inches is below the mean 68, he's still in sort of a what? A range where most people are going to be. Okay, you guys okay with that? He's still in that sort of C range. You guys get you guys get the feel of that? Saying okay, why don't you just keep A B C D F for everything? Well, you know, it it, it sort of can't describe certain things very well. For example, how tall is Shaq? You guys know how tall Shaq is, Shaquille O'Neal? Um, yeah, but he says he's 7'2". Like that extra inch is going to make a difference, right? How many inches is that if you're 7'1", I guess? Anybody know? 7'1", how many inches is that? 85, good. So Shaq is 85 inches tall, is that right? And so let's determine Shaq's z-score. Shaq is 85 minus the mean, which is 68, divided by 2.9. What is Shaq's z-score? What is it? Five point, round to the nearest ten, hundreds? Is it eight six? Okay. Shaq is 5.86. So take a look. Take a look at what this means. If we try to plot Shaq's height on this, on this real number line here, the scale, right? Where would Shaq be at? He'd be where? Oh, this might be three, four, five. Oh, he's almost what? He's almost six. So Shaq would be, I don't know, maybe over here somewhere. Is that right? Do you guys get the picture? The point is, if I were to continue with this format here, okay, and I try to describe Shaq's height in relation to everyone else, the problem is there's no grade that describes Shaq's height. So we have to invent other language, and the language is that Shaq, First of all, is that a positive number? <coughs> OK, it's a positive. What this means is Shaq is more than what? Five standard deviations, almost six. He's more than five standard deviations of the what? Of the mean. He's off the charts here. OK, so the language now is that, well, if you see a value there, right? Like in this case, a 5. Well, you're going to say, well, Shaq is more than 5 standard deviations above the mean here, because it's a positive value. OK? Does anybody know uh, how tall mini-me is? <laughs> how tall is mini-me? Mini two, two feet? Isn't he like two, two foot two or something? How many inches is mini-me? Two, two feet, two inches, I think. How many inches is that? 26? 26 inches, OK. Let's check Mini-Me's relative position in relation to everyone else, right? So his height is 2.6. And the mean is what? 68, standard deviation of 2.9. What do we get? Negative zero point, nope, nope. Negative what? Is it negative 22? 
what's two, I'm, I'm sorry, not 2.6, 26. What's 26 minus 68 divided by 2.9? You're using the Z formula here. Negative 14 point? 4, 8. What does that mean? What does that mean? First of all, it's negative, so that means what? What does a negative sign mean? Let's think about this. Shaq has a positive value. What does that mean? Mini-me has a negative value. What does that mean? I mean, mini-me, negative 14.48, I think mini-me then would be where, way over where? Give me over here. OK? Isn't that right? Somewhere over there. So what do you think that means, being negative? I'm not going to tell you because this isn't church. I'm not a preacher. I know I sound like it sometimes, but you guys aren't free to do what? Sit and look at me. So what does that negative value mean? It's below the what? It's below that zero, meaning it's below the mean. Anything that's negative is below that center, right? Below the mean. Anything positive is above it. So you can describe this value as being more than 14 standard deviations below the mean. More than 14 standard deviations. Now, think about this, right? Do you really see um, a lot of mini-me's out there? Do you see a lot of shacks out there? No, but because this value is much further from zero, this, this situation is much less likely to happen. In other words, you're going to see a few shacks before you see another mini-me. Okay? It's even rarer. Now, I'll give you a few definitions. Um, a definition of what's known as an unusual. An unusual Z value. Well, it's a Z value that is greater than 2 or less than negative 2. I think your book def defines it as unusual. Meaning, if something has a z-score greater than 2 or less than negative 2, we consider that unusual. You consider an ordinary z-value to be any value that is between uh, 2 and negative 2. Okay? So any value between 2 and negative 2 is considered ordinary. If you're larger than 2, it's unusual. Or if you're smaller than negative 2, it's, it's unusual. So we, it's fair to say that both Shaq and Mini-Me are what? They're unusual. Is that true? But what about Mr. Judge? He's just what? Ordinary. He's ordinary. Okay. So what do you think about test scores then? What does this mean about test scores? Test scores. 